Welcome to our video on the best headphones for music production. If you're producing music, you know that having a good set of headphones is crucial for creating and mixing your tracks. Not all headphones are created equal when it comes to music production. So this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the top options on the market. You can also find the links to discussed headphones in the description, so you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Bayer Dynamic DT1990 Pro. The Bayer Dynamic DT1990 are open back headphones with a circumoral ear cup design. Therefore, they're built for mixing in a quiet environment rather than monitoring performance. But these are actually the open back version of the DT1770 Pro closed back headphones. So if you're looking to monitor live recordings in your room, the 1770 Pro headphones will suit your needs far better. Anyway, the DT1990 Pro has a very strong build that's been engineered from cutting-edge components. The headphones feature a lot of metal in the design, including the ear cup forks and open-back driver grills. So not only are they more durable, they also feel more premium too. Oh, and don't expect them to feel light. On the left ear cup, you'll find a single mini XLR connection. And Bear Dynamic ships the DT1990 Pro with two cables, a 3-meter straight cable and a 5-meter coiled cable both with a 3.5mm mini jack and a 6.35mm screw-on adapter. Additionally, the DT1990 Pro headphones come with two sets of ear pads in the case, both an A version, which features a neutral frequency response, and a B version, which gives any bass a slight boost. At number 2, it's Sennheiser HD400 Pro. The Sennheiser HD400 Pro open-back circumoral headphones provide a balanced sound stage for mixing. They also provide a lot of comfort over long sessions. They feel well-built, despite only weighing in at 240 grams. You can adjust the headband and flex the ear cups, which are padded in velour, inwards a little to fit the shape of any head. You'll find they grip your head comfortably and firmly, and won't cause fatigue over long sessions or overheat your ears. But because of their open-back design, sound does leak at higher volumes, so we wouldn't recommend using them for monitoring but they're perfect for mixing and mastering because they provide an accurate and neutral reproduction of your music. Both music producers and content creators will find the HD400 Pro headphones useful. It comes with two detachable cables, 3 and 1.8 meters, in addition to a 3.5 millimeter to 6.3 millimeter adapter. The 3 meters cable is coiled while the 1.8 meter cable is straight and the connection is on the left ear cup. The drivers sit at a slight angle inside the cups, which emulates the desirable triangular listening position in a studio. With 120 ohms of impedance, these headphones also need an amplifier. The HD400 Pro headphones provide a wide frequency response from 6 Hz to 38 kHz. And even at really high sound pressure levels, distortion isn't really that noticeable, though we don't recommend driving any headphones with dangerous sound pressure levels. At number 3, it's Audio Technica ATH R70X headphones. Switching between the Audio Technica ATH R70X headphones and studio monitors doesn't actually present a big jump in reproduction quality. In other words, these are some pretty accurate studio headphones. However, the biggest difference is in the high end where the R70X headphones don't deliver as much as others on our list. But the R70X headphones are pretty light and comfortable to wear over long periods. Unlike other Audio Technica headphones, they don't squish your head. My fellow producers with glasses know what I mean. Their open back circumoral design presents a smooth sounding soundstage with accurate frequency reproduction. There are no bumps or noticeable cuts below the high end, so you can expect to hear plenty of detail. You'll find any unwanted sibilance and messy mix characteristics with the precise frequency response. However, the response does roll off a little suddenly between 10 to 20 kHz. Though this shouldn't really cause many issues as these are mostly just air frequencies. The bass and low mids are even with the right amount of extension and no hint of boominess. You'll find the left-right decoupling to be fantastic. Coupled with the frequency response, you'll get an amazing stereo field meaning you can be confident in your panning and depth decisions making. At number 4 it's Sony MDR7506 headphones. The Sony MDR7506 headphones are a staple for some very good reasons. They're closed back with a circumoral design that just fits over your ears. They're lightweight and comfortable to wear for long sessions. And the metal extension sliders have useful graded scales that allow you to adjust the headband on either side easily. You can fold the ear cups into the headband for easy transportation. Just be wary of the lightweight plastics the cans are made of. You may want to think twice before just throwing them into your bag. 
Despite these amazing ergonomic pros, one feature that may be a little off-putting is the cable. It's present on both sides of the headband and slides down onto the outside of the ear cup before entering the plastic side casing. On the smallest headband adjustment, it creates a weird loop of cable that sticks out from both sides of the unit. While not the most fashionable, this would help you if you need to replace the cable at any time. The cable itself is 3 meters long, which is handy while recording instruments with a microphone or performing on a MIDI controller, though it will be easy to tangle. While maybe not so good for electronic music producers, the Sony MBR7506 accepts their lack of bass and instead focuses on the details in mid and treble ranges. Like the previous headphones, you will notice unwanted artifacts with their revealing soundstage, making them a great reference tool while mixing. As we mentioned, any lack of bass is made up for in the details these cans provide in higher ranges. However, the bass reproduction is still tight and perfectly audible. At number 5, it's Audio Technica M70X headphones. The M70X is the flagship model within Audio Technica's M series, building on the success of the popular M50 headphones. These closed back headphones are aimed at a wide range of monitoring purposes. In contrast to the solid build of the Bear Dynamic DT 1990 Pro headphones, the Audio Technica M70X swiveling, circumoral ear cup design allows for monitoring and listening in noisy environments, in addition to one ear off usage. After one listens, you'll notice that these cans are geared towards producing a crisp reproduction of instruments and vocals, but lack some low end. This may not be a problem for some, but it will be for electronic music producers, and the ear cups do have fairly poor isolation compared to other closed back models, too. But the Fog's leather ear pads are comfy to wear for long sessions. They cover the ear and do provide enough isolation for monitoring, but they won't block the noise of a busy commute. For closed back headphones, the sound stitch is pretty impressive. It's decent enough for monitoring, let's put it that way. But the frequency response seems to produce a stereo image that is a little narrow because of the lack of low end emphasis. In other words, this lack in the low end reduces the central anchoring effect. It may be easy to overcompensate bass without noticing due to the lack of lows too. But due to the sharp reproduction in the upper harmonics, you'll notice any unwanted distortion you may add accidentally. Unwanted mid-range artifacts stick out by a mile. Despite a gradual roll-off, the high-end reproduction is smooth with no overpresence in the sibilant range too. There's plenty of power handling available and a low impedance value of 35 ohms means you can use these headphones with any device. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this video helps you to choose the best headphones for music production.